Hi! We're a group of students from the National College Emil Rakovice Yash. And we took the Yip cycle to a new understanding using the laws of physics regarding the optical phenomena in nature. The six stages of the Gibbs cycle are description presented by uh, Raluca, Molina, and Denisa. Uh, feelings presented by Amalia and Maria. Uh, evaluation presented by me, Stefania. Uh, analysis presented by Maria. Conclusion presented by Tudor. And the action plan presented by Maria. Again. Optical phenomena in nature. I was frequently fascinated by the image of the trees or forests reflecting in the water, or the beautiful representation of the sun on the waves, and even of the image of the flowers reflecting in the mirror. Every morning I smile and say hi to the person who is watching me from the mirror. The rainbow after rain pleases me the most with its magic of colors. The seven colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. As a result of our curiosity, we took a photo of a rainbow realized with the help of a prism in our physics lab. As for me, I have always wondered how we can see the beautiful world around us. What phenomenon is at the basis of the formation of images? How can we correct vision deficiencies with the help of lenses? Why does a spoon appear broken when put in water? Here we have Newton's disk, which we made in order to understand better color theory. Did you notice how the colors blended and formed a whitish shade? It is simply mind-blowing how even the most common landscape in nature can leave you speechless. The way the water reflects all the vibrant colors makes the scenery feel ethereal. Yes, but I'm curious because I don't know how in this crystal clear water we can still see such a breathtaking sight without the lively colors and figures. Even the distorted image of the sun reflecting upon the waves makes you wonder about all the great mysteries of life. Yes, but I have to wonder, why is this illusion so different from the other one with the clear reflection? Moreover, even the simple act of putting a bouquet of flowers in front of a mirror can leave you with a mesmerizing view, as it seems that the number of the flowers has increased. All in all, these are wonderful optical illusions, but I have to understand how the science be behind them work. Over and above, I cannot miss the chance to talk about my personal favorite, the rainbow. A science is the pot of gold that can be found there. We can see that a lot of people who don't know the physical phenomena may be frustrated about not understanding wonderful things that happen in nature. However, in every school lab, there is the equipment necessary to understand and see what happens outside. So, some of the material needed for the experiment are mirrors, laser source, uh, lenses, and optical prism. It appears that my classmates are troubled about not understanding the optical illusions formed in nature. Therefore, I believe that learning and understanding the, physical, uh, the laws of physics behind them might uh, help them understand better. For that, I will leave Bob to do to demonstrate and to explain them thoroughly. Light reflection is a phenomenon where the direction of propagation of light changes when it meets a surface by returning to the area it came from. There are two laws of reflection. The first law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line of the separation surface from the incident point are coplanar. The second law of reflection states that the incident angle is equal to the angle of reflection. Light refraction is the phenomenon where the direction of propagation of light changes when traversing the separating surface between two transparent environments. There are two laws of reflection. Refraction. The first law of refraction states that the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal line of the separation surface uh, in the point of incidence are called planar. The second law of refraction states that the ratio between the sinus of the angle of incidence and the sinus of the angle of refraction is constant for two transparent environments. 
Here we can experiment with the uh, previously mentioned phenomenons. Here we can see reflection using a laser source and a mirror. We can see that the laser, when it meets the mirror, reflects back and returns to the surface, to the area it came from. Using a prism now, we can experiment with refraction. We can clearly see how the laser goes through the prism and changes its direction of propagation by going forward instead of backward in reflection. Other materials for experimentation we can find here are lenses, prisms, as previously mentioned, and a mirror. Based on the laws of physics we have learned today from Tudor, we can now better understand the science behind all of the natural wonders. From now on, when we will look at some trees reflecting in water, after we take our time and appreciate and observe them thoroughly, we can uh, think about the science behind it and uh, reflect on the laws of physics we have learned to better understand the concept.